Christoph Mortelmans from Ranst, Belgium. From an early age, Christoph got involved in pigeon racing from a very early age. His two grandfathers were renowned sprint fanciers and Christoph created his own racing team already at the age of 12. He would often visit other lofts to watch the pigeons arrive home from a long-distance race, but his own pigeons were only basketed for the sprint races at that time. Eventually Christoph struggled to successfully combine his pigeon loft with his studies and his job. He works as a vet in poultry farms, so he decided to quit the sport for a while. But he has never spent an entire year without keeping pigeons. He returned to his old passion in 2012, making a fresh start. The Extreme Long Distance This time Christoph was eager to compete in the extreme long distance, his favorite discipline. He visited Jean-Pierre Raimdink Rise from Ham, winner of a Silver Wing Award and the overall winner of the PIPA IATP ranking in 2010, first nominated pigeon in the international races from Pau, Barcelona, Tarbes, Marseille and Perpignan. Christoph obtained 30 young birds from Jean-Pierre's best breeders, which he used in his racing loft. It was a great success. Four of these young birds proved exceptionally talented, but we let you be the judge of that and at least one of them is an outright champion. We take a closer look at these four talented racing birds. Jell, BE 12-4019241 Jell is the star of this team, and the kind of pigeon many fanciers hope to add to their collection one day. He won a first provincial Leborn as a yearling in one of the most demanding editions ever, beating 756 opponents. 11th National 6,134 Pigeons. Jell had a lead of almost 30 minutes over his closest opponent, and he was the only pigeon with a velocity of over 1,000 meters per minute. He won a second provincial Limoges 1,407 Old Birds as a two-year-old, as well as a second provincial Montauban 526 Old Birds. Only 50 of a total of 1,407 pigeons reached a velocity of over 1,100 meters per minute in Limoges, and only 32 pigeons reached that speed in Montauban. His excellent results earned him the title of first provincial ace pigeon. The sire of Gel comes from the breed of Roger Vreek from Deerlich, through Gilbert van Hasselt, who excelled in the last two races from Barcelona, which were very hard. The dam comes from Guido van Vleerberg who achieved great results with pigeons of Herman Brinkman. The great-grandmother from his father's side is a full sister of Nightflyer, second national bribe. Zwart Start, BE 12-6079887. Zwart Start finished in ninth place in the race from Liborn which Gel won. At the age of two he finished in 30th place of 477 pigeons, and as such he claimed a 34th place in the PIPA ranking for best pigeon from Leborn 2013 to 2014. He moved to the breeding loft in 2015. The sire of Zwart Start, 363-02, is one of the best breeders for Jean-Pierre Raimdink and he is also the grandfather of Barcarcus Red Ace from his mother's side winner of a first national ace pigeon title for Christoph. The dam is a full sister of the 055-07, winner of a 23rd out of 405 pigeons in Montelimar, a 7th out of 279 pigeons in Tarbes and a 9th out of 254 pigeons in Oranges. Danny Narbon, BE 12-4019233. He is also related to long-distance champion Roger Vreek from his father's side. The last pigeon of the fabulous four is called Voss. He is a half-brother of the Silver Wing of 2010, from the same sire, and he is particularly fond of long-distance racing. This is where he really shines. He won an eighth of 526 pigeons in Montauban, a fifteenth of 754 pigeons in Perpignan and a fifteenth of 170 pigeons. The dam of Voss comes from the loft of Gilbert van Hass. Like we said. His sire is also the sire of the Silver Wing of 2010. Unfortunately Voss did not return home from the race from Perpignan in 2015 but Christoph still has two of his youngsters. Let's take a look of 2021 Christoph Mortelmann's race results. 2021 season is another great year for Christoph Mortelmann's pigeons. It was not too long ago that Christoph Mortelmann's triumphed with the first provincial Barcelona. 
Only a few weeks later he has managed to add a provincial victory to his name, but the national victory at Marseille is the highlight of this top season. It was overwhelming Christophe tells us with some disbelief. I could never have imagined that here in Antwerp I would have my pigeons home the same day, so I was watching my loft without any real expectations. By 10 p.m. it was also rather dark. So, I really did not expect to have any pigeons fall, but you never know. When Dan Dave, BE 19-6187554, arrived. Well. What goes through you? It cannot put into words. An incredible performance of this big shot. I have to confess, I actually wanted to basket him on Narbon. However, I lost three of my better pigeons at Mantley Mar which led me to the decision to send Den Dave in for Marseille as my first nominated because of his line age. His father is a son of the special one, first international Barcelona, and those are pigeons that keep going even in the dark. I saw that with his brother during the rather challenging cares when he dropped at 10 p.m. His mother is a daughter of stock breeder Gel which is a fine breeding line. As a yearling he got two on two, Agen and Narbon, and on the last Agen he finished per 10, so I knew he was made of the right stuff. He really proved that this time thus an elated Christophe. The dust clouds of Marseille had barely settled down before the next major victory came in, this time from Perigo. It was Cockshrek, BE 20-6223191, who did not let any doubt exist between himself and his provincial competition. He came in first with a lead of over 20 minutes. On the number two, Christoph explained that the mother of Shrek is the nest sister of the father of the national Marseille winner. The father is once again my gel, so both the national and provincial victor have the same games. Shrek also did super well in the preparatory races. On Verzon, Burgs, Chateau Roux and Limoges he was always among the first to come home, so it seemed logical to basket him as first nominated. New training method. From this season on Christophe used something else than a flag to make his pigeons train namely a sky dancer. They know this so well and is being used twice a day for the widowers who have to train from May two times at least 45 minutes. The hens only do this once a day but then for one full hour. Afterwards, he let them train freely for half an hour before he called them in. But this year he noticed how hard his pigeons have a real base condition. Mixtures and medicine. I make use of mixtures that are to be found at Van Camp and Bochout. The old and yearlings get towards the middle distance races fully the Grand Prix mixture protein poor, and I switch on to 50% molting and 50% sport until Limoges. From then on only sport mixtures will be given and I always feed them as much as they want so the pigeons always have enough. The pigeons that have to do the extreme long distance races get the last 4 to 5 days extra fat rich seeds, sunflower pits, hemp seed, wild seeds, Bordeaux corn, black corn and wild seed that I mix myself. Aside that I also give once a week amino acids, vitamins and get proteins at arrival. What the medical story is concerned I can keep it very short and they didn't receive any antibiotics this season. I only treated them twice against trichomoniasis and they get yellow drops over the food weekly the day after arrival of a race.